when the world is out to get you. When nothing you're used to fits your future and hypocrisy taints your truth. Right here. Where innocence took its final breath, I lay down my youth. Ik ben uh, Jamie Brown. Ik denk dat je speak English though. Um, and uh, as this night is about journeys, I came to think about my journey. And so it happens that uh, October last year was the first time, time that I uh, found myself on a stage doing spoken word. So this month is kind of like my anniversary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, because it is my anniversary month and this is about journeys, I thought to think uh, to take you on my journey as the limited time permits. So tonight I'll be performing one of my first pieces, which is the first piece that I'm going to perform for you, and uh, then something in the middle, and then my last piece that I wrote, which I'm sorry I haven't studied out of my head yet, but I hope you'll bear with me. So without further ado, one of the first pieces I wrote is called Friendly Fire, I Am. I consist of a fire that changes color. Sometimes I'm blue, sometimes black, and sometimes my fire cries about words that aren't actually said. I used to feel so sad, so mad, I wouldn't knew, know what to do with myself. I didn't know where to place my hurricane of emotions, I mean, in which order and on what shelf do you put them? My friendly fire got me burned. And I've been through so many episodes already, you think I learned. You think I earned at least some respect. But maybe I've just heard too much. That I'm beautiful, colorful, and oh so wonderful by people who did a mind to enter mine with dirt still stuck to their shoes. Paying me solely with their neglect and destining me to lose. Maybe I've just heard too much and seen far too little and now it seems that I'm just stuck in the middle of a crippling self-doubt and absolute narcissism. I'm failing to find a place where those do me and become what I never became, a piece of art meant to be valued and enjoyed in a healthy way instead of just a nasty way. I'm trying to make my way, but it seems my sins won't stay away. They're stuck to my skin like it's rotten and they are the supplies like my stank. I've been told I'm a pretty picture, but I know my ugly truth. Because twisted words made me unknow what I knew about I am, and I was unable to see that I have the ability to make every unability flee. And that the lows just concern themselves with seduction as a sad way of destruction. And so, while beauty and peace lay just around the corner, I was low, lost. In the dark, even there where we shaped to cover the light, I already saw once and never faced. But today, I'm changed. I'm on a new fire. I'm getting myself higher and higher with knowledge and wisdom and power and all that is needed to make my mark. I lost the shape and I see the light I need to see. I see the light I need to be because I know that I am is already in me. Even in the back, yeah, you got it? Cool. Okay, uh, then we're going on to heart thoughts, which is a bit dramatic, but you know, heart thoughts. Uh, as I keep swallowing down, 
forbidden words along with watery eyes, every fiber in my body screams them. The terms known to her and common man don't speak to the thoughts of my heart, but as sure as she is of those thoughts, she knows that he, his lips are able to effortlessly form them. Is prohibited. Thick, thick. She breathes his taste. While she, or actually he, needs his face. But she need not close her eyes to see the glance of light in his. How he looks down to his left, formulates his words, followed by a frustrated hand gesture, only to look up again and search for my soul. Whenever they talk about their feelings. Always a slight contraction with his eyelids when he meets her pupils while he knows I try to read him. She and I. Not yet he and I are one. Deflecting and self-neglecting are his destructional arts of choice. Speaking to her heart and desires, but artist as he is. As lonely. As he makes himself to be, he chooses not his words, but those of co-workers of us. Because artists, we are. And I speak his language fluently, but insecurity confuses me when he hides behind pointy shoes of other women, and he, or she, or she is I, so that must mean that I need space. I'm trying to believe it. I really try to believe it when I'm writing. How true. Because I know that words bear power, especially the ones spoken, so she needs to be very careful and let them be well chosen. Heart thoughts are my heart thoughts and the reality of this moment. How to release you when I'm writing, when you're the main resource while I'm writing, and inspiration flows in invisible yet sensible ways of your face and body. The muscles of your arms and back make me run for dictionaries because there must be words, there must be, to describe these images. Your hands, your hands are an endless pool of symphonies if only you stay to hear their melodies. Maybe later. Time will tell, but while it's at the essence, now is not the time. So my heart thought remains to be heart thought in the reality of this moment. As promised, as promised, as promised, I was going to take you on my journey, so that includes my last piece that I wrote. And I'm sorry I haven't studied it completely, so I'll be using uh, my notebook here if that's alright. Uh, this one is uh, unnamed for us as for now. So as we preach to the choir today, we stand united in your name. We claim our wholeness and climb out of former messes through our broken pieces. We scramble our last breath, exhaled in pain and sadness as we proclaim that we are not the same. We are not our own. Still we hold on to, cling to, the one who is our final destination, the beginning and the end. Carry us through this journey as we fully give ourselves away so you can heal us. We yield our will to you, our hope. Make us a heart brand new as your own. For I have finally grown out of my burning fields of child play because you fed the smallest seed of faith in me. You calm me. O oh, flow of living, loving water, sweet, skillful, godly wisdom, carry me. Carry me. Please carry us because I can't see without your word. I'm speechless, senseless, brainless, frameless, heartless. I am nothing without you. You are the very life in me as you clenched me in blood. 
Drench me. Fuel me. I'm bleeding out. Doubt caught my neck when I wasn't looking, and now I'm choking. I'm grasping for air. Please, Lord, I know it's not fair, but levitate, fight, mediate for me. I have fallen once again, and I don't want to trip over the same stones I used to, so build me. Carry me. Conceal me from this shooting world. Grab me your wings and stretch me. Until you, finally, you are all I see. Then, and only then, I shall mount up as the eagles you built for my inspiration, since you haven't made them but us the crown of your creation. Let us roar then as the lions you intended. Let us stand firmer than the mountains that need moving, knowing that the light you put in us is no further proving than the excellence of excellence of your being in us. Let us praise in one voice until the roar of Judah consumes every noise. We are one. I am is the choir, so preach me. Free me, carry me as I look up to you and you are me. I see my reflection in your pupils and know that finally I am is all I see. Thank you.